episode 74 welcome in um back in the stew obviously uh last time you saw us feels if you great were, to sound great yeah feels great to sound great uh <clears throat> and to look great hopefully other than uh the ipad duct Sweat. tape discord episode that you saw um that you know somehow ended up being one of if if not up there in the top three of our largest episodes so yeah. um big shout out to you guys for making that happen uh we obviously really appreciate it shout out to the editor yeah and <laughs> whoever that is <laughs> um i i think obviously some of it comes off the back of uh the different content that we're you know we're trying to branch out into and and figure out innovative ways to bring you guys um more nycfc stuff that's not just uh our dumb faces on the cameras talking about yeah. what we saw happen in the game. Yeah, there's nothing worse than, uh, <laughs> you know, just trying to break through our humor with our analysis. Yeah, so, um, you know, you might be familiar with the, the Every Touch series that we're getting going. A um, little bit of a rocky start, only because I guess the Scottish Premier League does not want uh, people to do free marketing, essentially. That's what it is for their league. Yeah. Um, but what we did was go through and grab a compilation of, of every touch that Sands took in week one of the SPFL. And it's something that, uh, if it's up to us, we will plan to do throughout the entirety of the season and any major games he plays in. Like today, he played in Champions League qualifying. Um, and not just him, but uh, for sure, the other confirmed player will be Tati. Uh, his first episode won't be until August 14th. That's when Girona kicks off La Liga against Valencia. Um, it's, I think it's more of an H, hey, like a he, like the hair, like a he, Herona, I think. Oh, Herona? Yeah, think? I think it's like an H, Herona. Okay. I think. Okay. I don't know. I could be I'm speaking out of turn. enough for that. <laughs> Herona. <laughs> um, but look out for that August 14th. Um, as long as Big Bad La Liga doesn't take the boys down, then that will also be something that will continue through whatever their domestic cup is and also all of their La Liga game weeks. Um so that's something to look forward to. And those did great. We had a lot of, actually, uh, Ranger fans in the comments and some NYCFC as well. Um, you know, one of the more commented videos that we've ever had. So I think it's something that people obviously want um, and yeah. we're here to deliver. Well, obviously, you know, there is there is a fan base for the Scottish Premier League. There's definitely a fan base for, for you know, the talent that we send overseas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just wish that... Uh, you know that the Scottish Premier League would, and well, not them. I, I don't blame them. I blame the marketing team Agency. that uh, took took over their rights. Um, why would you not want somebody doing, you know, the job of a fifty, sixty thousand dollar salaried human being in your building for free? For free, um, yeah. and not only that, but free clicks. Although we reached out to see what they want to do, so yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't think they really watched. I think they just. I don't think they struck. So. Even see our email but yeah and uh you know if they want to work with us obviously i mean it may be a drop in the bucket of the views that they could potentially get on their own channel but i think it, anything is something and uh it definitely helps us have a creative outlet mm -hmm. um so yeah I, I just wish that that we could do that um so if yeah. we can we're definitely gonna bring it to you if we can't uh we're not probably not gonna risk our channel over yeah over that yeah i mean if it's just gonna get like the thing with that and not to get like too deep into the youtube copyright stuff but you know copyright claimers have a, a number of different options that they can choose and we're not uh strangers to getting copyright claimed obviously we've taught we've tossed in highlights and we've gotten claimed before on like episodes like this where we overlay goals or you know moments from games um and we've gotten claimed but in those situations the the programming whoever is behind it allow the video to stay up but they just run ads to get themselves paid right obviously we don't get paid so we don't care to take the money yeah we, we're about the content um for whatever the reason really. these guys decided to just shut the video down to a point like where you can, it can't even be watched um so we'll see what happens with that yeah. and like you said obviously if a video is going to be live for 24 to 48 hours and then it can never be viewed again it's probably not worth investing right. the time the time that it'll take um so that's just something or, to keep you know if we, if we did do it we'd have to find a, a creative way to do it and mm -hmm. um you know that's that's basically to be determined yeah so um, we'll keep you updated on that um we have some other content coming that we're planning to film pretty soon um 
maybe even after this episode. <laughs> I mean, fairly soon. We'll never know. <laughs> um, Don't check your watch. Of doing some pack <laughs> openings. If you, if you saw the MLS pack, we posted on Twitter. And then we ordered uh, more Lucy's than we would like to admit from eBay of just, you know, historical NYCFC cards. Um, and that'll probably be like a two-part series where we open up the box, you know, make a best 11 maybe out of the cards we get, and then we'll dig into a second part where it's just NYCFC focus for the boys. So right, that's coming soon. Yeah, and so anyone who's into, you know, just the team in general, um, you know, it gets you into a cool little hobby um, of collecting and, and, you know, my girlfriend calls it, uh, junk piling, but <laughs> you're gonna say wasting money. <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. She's not happy about the money. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just a cool little thing that we want to do and bring it to you guys and see if you like it. And uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll say if if you want to, you know, obviously this is something we we preach on every episode. Um, the way to stay up to date with us and some of that content that's going to be coming out is to follow us uh, predominantly on Twitter. We're actually six followers away from 300, which is ins- it. I mean, it's insane. Um, I, I felt like it was yesterday when we had like a hundred, um, and you know, it's growing a little bit. So we're obviously happy about that. And, and we have the first follower that wasn't us. And we were like, <laughs> yeah. what? Somebody yeah. followed us. It took a little, it took you a know? couple episodes to get that one. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we're earning it. Uh, we're trying to earn it. Um, and yeah, I think maybe we can get into analysis for the guys that are here for that, um, on the post Tati era that was NYCFC um, going away to Montreal, um, which I think ended up being a much tougher game than I thought it was going to be and a lot of people thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, if you had told me that we were going to struggle post Tati, I would say, of course, yeah. of course we are. Um, you know, how, how could we not under the circumstances and everything like that? But had you told me that our struggles would largely be defensively, I would have looked at you a little strange and been like, no, we're, we're just not scoring, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, we're giving up a lot of chances, too. It, um, it was a little bit of both in the game. Yeah, I just, my eye went largely towards the, um, you know, one on two, uh, one on one type counterattacks that were given up. Um, the countless chances within the box, the shots given up. Mm-hmm. Um, Sean Johnson obviously standing on his head. In a lot of the, these situations, to um, keep us keep us at a draw, um, and then a stroke of luck when you know their player obviously skies the ball instead of just burying the the pretty simple chance. Um, you know, we with the, as soon as we got in the in the studio, we we're like, dude, how do we not lose that? You know, yeah. Obviously, we watched separately. Um, yeah, I just I felt we were a little lucky to get away with a draw. Um, not yeah, only we should have lost by a few. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Yeah. And uh, we weren't putting the chances away that we created. Um, we weren't defending well. We kind of looked out of sorts. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, going into this next game that we are just laser focused, getting the job done, and, and at least get a, a, a goal for Heber. Um, it was disappointing that he didn't score, but at the same time, you know, it, had he scored, we would be sitting here praising him and you mm-hmm. know how great it is for him to overcome the oh, yeah, loss. We're, we're fine yeah and so worry. you know the fact that he didn't doesn't mean that he was bad it just means that he didn't do the great thing yeah i was thinking about the episode on the way home and uh one of my thoughts was like at what at what number of games uh of hey bear not scoring are we like we're donezo it would have to be like three it would have to be like eight. It's like to, eight. Yeah, it would have, like six. Like at the sixth one, would be like. I guess it. It's it, got to fall soon. You I know? guess it does depend if other players are scoring. Right. Because I, I do think like Tales and and Tiago Andrade, who we can get into, um, has, they can buy him time if they're scoring because obviously we do not have a guy right now that is the Tati that you're rolling out, ninety minutes in the striker position. Right. Every game, regardless of what he's shown the last 10 games it doesn't matter if he didn't score in the last 10 you know Tati would get that start um so you kind of lean on that but I I think three or four if if we're not also getting results and he hasn't scored it's gonna be like well that's I'm not sure we're gonna see that hey bear again that's the variable that goes into it is if we're winning and he's not scoring nobody's gonna care I Mm -hmm. think we'll we'll touch on it yeah and we'll be like hey you know He's got to be playing better. He's got to be in those positions, blah, blah, blah. But if we're winning, 
I really, you're not going to catch me on here with an attitude that Hey Bear went three, yeah. four games without scoring. I think he's going to have to grow back into being a starter in the first place. Um, and that takes time. And, and it's realistically, we got to realize these are his first chances at starting again and playing those initial, you know, zero to 70th minute. You know, that's that's something that your body has to get adjusted to and used to. So I'll give him the pass unless, you know, he's in a slump and we're losing. And it's like, OK, we're, we're getting to the time where you got to put your nose to the grindstone and just get it done. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I think probably the most unlikely hero to call him that out of the the bunch of people that we saw on the field. Hero. There were two. It was a, a tale of Tiago's for me. It was <laughs> Tiago Martins, obviously, in the back line. I think he got player of the match. Um, don't quote me on it, but he was, I mean, he personally saved us from uh, a night of disappointment a, night, yeah. uh, a couple of times. And then obviously we had Tiago Andrade, who, you know, one of the things that I was most concerned about with Tati leaving was his engine. Like, there were countless times in games where you see him, like, charge the keeper. Apologies for the, who that could be a car engine outside, I don't know. Yeah. But you see Tati charge the keeper uh, and just get a touch on a ball that sends sends it, you know, deflected and it lands at Maxi's feet. It lands right. at our de defense's feet and we can build out of the back again. Right. Um, and I was worried to lose that and probably the most unlikely guy, I thought, the motorcycle again, um, to step <laughs> in if you are somehow still following this, this tangent uh, after all the interruptions was Tiago Andrade. I, I didn't expect him to be that dark horse that would have surprised me out of every attacker that we have on our roster in that Montreal game. And that's what he did, honestly. I mean, he seemed like the only guy that for a while that cared about scoring on the field. Yeah, I mean, Tati used to be the only guy that would really, what I consider, like, I, it's more of a basketball term, but it's somebody who would pull up and shoot. Mm -hmm. I the Tati was really only the only guy that I believed could do that and score. Now after seeing Tiago have that same confidence, he could very well be that guy to to, you know, pull up and just bang a long shot real quick, you know, make something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. That really could be his job. Um and we could see something dangerous which we've been talking about and hoping for for a long time, which is Tiago Evolving into that next set where he's not just a set of wheels, mm -hmm. you know, where he's not just somebody who abuses his pace. It's that's the thing. If if you combine, so like, obviously to be a good athlete at everything, you need to be way more than one dimensional. And not to say that Tiago is one dimensional. We've seen flashes of brilliance from him, um, but largely it's been his legs his oh, yeah, pace for sure. keeping him you know really competing with some of the other guys on our roster that are technically gifted whether you're Santi GP or uh, Tales um, or when you can bang goals in whether you're Tati I mean I think our street is I don't know drag racing I have to close the door it, I don't I don't know if the door helps but um, yeah that to me that's the thing is like if Tiago can now build and get the minutes to build a second dimension, a third dimension of his game. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he evolves, that's a dangerous that's, man. That's a dangerous man. That's somebody who leaves the club quicker than Tati did. Mm -hmm. That's somebody who, who sets the record for an outgoing transfer. Um, that's somebody who attracts everybody. Every team in the world would want a guy like that. Um, and I just hope, I really do hope that that's what, even if it turns out to be half of that, um, if he just evolves into, you know, the player that we believe that he can be, the world's his. And, and the craziest thing about that, you know, taking it outside of the Tiago Andrade conversation is that's one dart throw that NYCFC has out of a few. Right. Like, what if you throw the dart and it hits Tales and it makes him become that guy that goes for the club record fee? What if Santi ends up staying after his loan and it becomes him? Or what if it becomes GP? All of these guys have shown those. Or Keaton or literally like Acevedo or all these guys that show flashes of being. That show world, world class, class yeah. players. For um, runs of games right. at times. Alfredo's, you know, older. I think even Alex Callens, like, he, he deserves. A big genuinely, money he like yeah. if He's you think paid. 
um you know i know he's up there up there in age but in in the terms of the real world he's really not for an, center back an old yeah. man and um you know you look at a, at a guy like fernandinho he signed at 29 for man city went on one of the best runs that you mm-hmm. can and played a very big role in getting you guys a bunch of trophies like yeah it's, it's not impossible so you know he's somebody who could go for for a big price um and that's the thing about these guys is once you know if they all end up clicking at the same time what you see happen is what happened last year they they click at the right time they feed off of each other's you know passion and ability and talent and you go and you win a cup you get some silverware um and you know hopefully that's what we're going to be hoping happens this season if they didn't hear any other, <laughs> they heard that one. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, but I, I do hope with uh, the Brazilian coach coming in that we do get, you know, a sense of community back in the club. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, we're just going to have to cut that whole part out. That, that's not worth it right there. <laughs> we're fine. I'll say it, it isn't even so much the sound because our voices probably do overpower it to the listeners, but it's the, the rattling of my brain that takes yeah. me off track it's literally like that really hits um when we speech jammed our friend's dad <laughs> yeah um you know and he had to talk about farm animals <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's nothing like a, a a motorcycle with probably a cut off exhaust um in your ears to derail your I mean, your mind if you're in if you're somewhere in in new york you know, you need, you're no got stranger your open, to this. You might even be like, dude, is somebody outside like <laughs> riding outside right now? Oh yeah. no, this is the podcast. I'm, yeah. I'm in the car. Um, so I, I think, I mean, that about sums up, you know, all the analysis that we can get from what was a uh, a painful nil nil draw. I think a, a little fun fact that I like to share, courtesy of I, I think it's Winston Maker, um, somebody who at this point has been a longtime follower of our Twitter at least, was the last zero zero draw that we had was against Sporting KC. It was in, I tweeted it, um, but it was in May, I believe. And the fun fact is that we also did not have Tati that game. So, Interesting. you know, he was an important part of the team, that, to he, say the least. We miss him, and, um, but we hope him nothing but the best. We need a little bike that I'm maybe leaving. like rides across the screen <laughs> during the episode. I'm just leaving space for the editor to do his job. Um, but yeah, I mean, hoping the best and um, hoping the best for our boys without him. <laughs> it's, it's just <laughs> they're doing laps. So we'll allow uh, the race ensuing outside to complete. We will wrap up this analysis. Um, it's going to be funny when we record the next video and they're still... <laughs> yeah, they're still gone. Yeah. Um and uh that'll be that so we'll you'll hear from us <laughs> can you talk <laughs> i mean if we if we start to last we might not finish the ep- like the episode might never end um and the bike on cue is back so to wrap up this <laughs> think a laughing fit ever made it on air uh but there's been a lot of them that you that we've cut out <laughs> it's louder <laughs> every lap is louder oh it's been like, all right it's we been have like 40 episodes since we, <laughs> we have silence oh. to wrap up episode 74 i'd just like to you know thank you guys for that big episode thank you for um you know, following us on all the different platforms that you can <laughs> find us on uh, and look out for some of the new content that we're exploring. So we will uh, catch you guys in the next one uh, and that'll do it. So peace. Peace. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> 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 <laughs>